Hi my dear students, welcome back to my channel. So welcome back to 2023 board examination preparation video series. My dear students, this video is for both CBSE as well as state board students. This video is definitely going to help for your board examination preparation. So in the previous video, we had discussed 10 questions. So which was based on the activity and also few important concepts. So in this video, I am going to discuss from the question number 11, my dear students. So these are all important concepts and these concepts definitely you can expect in the final examination. Okay, the same questions or you can expect some modified questions of same concepts. So without skipping the video, do watch the complete video. And if you are new to my channel, do subscribe to my channel and also click the bell notification which is being given below. You can also follow me on my Instagram and also Telegram group. So the first question is chil uh, children without looking at the answer first let us able to understand the concept first understand the concept. So during the electrolysis of brine. So whenever I say brine see children whenever I say brine or whenever you re read brine in your question paper always remember see brain is aqueous solution of sodium chloride. That is, see, when I take sodium chloride and add water to this, this becomes aqueous solution of sodium chloride. So, this is our brine solution. Okay. So, to this solution, what are we doing? We are electrolyzing. That means we are passing the electricity. So, when we pass the electricity to brine solution, I am just in writing in short form. So, when we pass electric electricity to NaCl aqueous, that means the brine solution. A gas G is liberated my dear students. So where it is liberated? The gas G is liberated at anode. Actually two gases are liberated. So how do you know? First of all you must know the products which are obtained. Yen products See when we pass electricity in a sodium chloride solution and the brine solution ge pass maadaga, we get hydrogen gas, we get chlorine gas along with this we also get the product sodium hydroxide. These products are released my dear students. The next challenging question is which gas is released at cathode, which gas is released at anode because there, are, there is hydrogen gas, there is chlorine gas. Remember we have anode and we also have cathode. Students see chlorine does not meet at cathode that means C does not meet at C. So that means chlorine always releases at anode. C does not meet at C. One easy thing you remember. C does not meet at C. That means chlorine gas does not release at cathode. Okay. So where do chlorine gas released? Chlorine gas released at anode. So the question is what? Which gas is released at anode? So which gas is released at anode? The chlorine gas is released at anode. This is the first question answer my dear students. Followed by what is been asked further. See further they have asked. When this gas is passed, which gas? We have just spoke about chlorine gas, correct now? So when chlorine gas is passed to slaked lime. So what is the formula of slaked lime? Formula of slaked lime is calcium hydroxide. So when we pass the calcium hydroxide to, that is uh, chlorine gas to calcium hydroxide, we get one product children, very important. They also have given hint for you, see? We get compound C, so this will be a compound C, which is this compound C we have to find out and which is this compound C and this compound C is also used in disinfecting the drinking water. So very easy children, say so whenever chlorine gas is passed to slaked lime, dry slaked lime, we get calcium oxychloride that is bleaching powder. So what is our compound C? Our compound C is bleaching powder my dear students. See along with this water is also formed. Very simple answer. The thing is you want to use your brain properly to think. You think that what is G, what is C, it's not like that. The concept is very simple. You must know brine solution is sodium chloride solution. When we pass electricity we get hydrogen and chlorine gas. Hydrogen gas is released at cathode. Chlorine gas is released at anode. And very important children you have to learn the uses of hydrogen gas chlorine gas and sodium hydroxide it is given in the textbook near the diagram go through this okay the same answer is also mentioned here okay 
first without watching the answer in this part do understand what i am telling okay so the next question identify the products formed when 1 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid is added to 1 gram of sodium metal children we have hydrochloric acid and we also have sodium metal so when these two react what happen sodium chloride is formed along with the liberation of hydrogen gas my dear students see any this kind of questions which comes in the examination always write it in the form of chemical equation so that you will get a clear answer see hydrochloric acid is there so what happen sodium is now coming in between hydrogen and chlorine as a result of it what happen sodium combined with chlorine to form sodium chloride and hydrogen gas is liberated so the answer is sodium chloride and hydrogen gas so it's very simple see identify the 12th question is identify the chemical name chemical name and also the chemical formula of the salt which is used to remove the permanent hardness of water always remember see when i talk about acids and bases and salts lesson learn the uses of washing soda washing soda formula na2co3 10h2o learn the functions of bleaching powder learn the uses of baking soda learn the uses of pop very important my dear student among this four you can expect any one concept in examination they can ask the uses of anything okay so here they have asked the chemical name and chemical formula of a salt all these are salts okay to remove permanent hardness of water see the chemical which is used to remove the permanent hardness of water is washing soda my dear students just now you understood for you for disinfecting the water we are using bleaching powder to remove the permanent hardness of water we are using the washing soda and the formula of washing soda hydrated washing soda always you have to write that is na2co3 10h2o this is the formula of washing soda moving to 13th question my dear students see a compound x of sodium is used as an antacid remember we are talking about an antacid what is antacid antacid is a base remember first you should know that when this antacid which is called as an x and this antacid what it is a compound of sodium okay when this is getting decomposed on strong heating we are going to get some other questions here observe here uh, name the compound x and give the chemical formula write the balanced chemical equation to represents the decomposition of x okay and give one use of compound x beside an antacid these many questions they have asked okay so first of all we have to know what is the formula of an antacid which is the compound of sodium so the formula is sodium hydrogen carbonate the formula of this is sodium hydrogen carbonate which is nothing but our baking soda what is the formula what is the name of nhco3 nhco3 is baking soda my dear students so which is that compound x compound x is baking soda when this baking soda decomposes okay decomposition is nothing but what so single reactant undergo decomposition to form two or more products so we are using heat now we are heating the baking soda remember children always when we heat baking soda we get washing soda you can also expect this question in the exam how can we get uh, washing soda okay by using baking soda see when we just heat baking soda we get washing soda you can observe the answer here see the first question answer was compound x was sodium bicarbonate the name of the, this is a chemical name is nhco3 generally we call it as baking soda children so when we heat this baking soda we get the washing soda my dear students that is na2co3 okay so this is the formula of what is that washing soda further they have given one more question see you also have to write the another use of this x what is this x now sodium bicarbonate that is baking soda you want to you write the use of baking soda apart from an antacid antacid bit to e baking soda inno and use bari ri anta kelta idare see baking soda is is actually used in the uh, kitchen for making crispy pakoras and it is also used as the 
fire extinguishers it is also used as fire extinguishers okay so a very important easy children very easy question yes so let us now go for 14th question the 14th question is see a compound a compound which is prepared from the gypsum has the property of hardening when mixed with the property that is proper quantity of water that means we have a compound okay we prepare this compound let us name it as a we prepare this compound a from gypsum okay and this compound has the property of becoming hard when it is mixed with the water okay so what is that compound you want to identify first and write the formula very simple my dear student see when we add okay let me take out this and write in this region only okay so when we add so gypsum what is the formula of gypsum the formula of gypsum is caso4 half h2o children okay so this compound x is formed from gypsum so which is what is formed actually see we get actually uh, what is that uh, calcium sulfate hemihydrate okay that is caso4 half h2o caso4 half h2o is the formula of pop children so when we add the water to this how much water one and half molecules of water to our pop we will get calcium sulfate 2 h2o that is gypsum this is the formula of gypsum what i have asked here a compound which is prepared from gypsum see what has been prepared from gypsum see we are getting calcium sulfate hemihydrate from the gypsum how do we get children see when we heat the calcium sulfate when we heat the calcium sulfate 2 h2o water molecule that is when we heat the gypsum when we heat the gypsum we get calcium sulfate hemihydrate that is pop we get the pop when we heat the gypsum my dear students okay and for this pop when we add we again we get the gypsum back okay so what i have asked further you have to write the chemical formula we have written chemical formula write the chemical equation for its preparation we also have written the chemical equation and write one use of the compound so where do we use pop this pop is used in the hospitals to support the fractured bones this pop is used to prepare the articles or idols it is also used to make the surface smooth my dear students so one thing is it is used in the hospital it is used in the hospital okay it is used to make the idols and it is used to make the surface smooth okay these many things are there these many things are the uh, they are the uses of pop okay very easy my dear students see we get gypsum when we add water to pop when we heat gypsum again we get the pop back that's it okay we have to you know the uses of this so lastly see children these questions are very important very frequently in the examination they ask these diagrams draw a neat label diagram to prevent a reaction of zinc granules with sulfuric acid you should know the to, uh, you should know to label all the parts in state as well as cbsc they ask this okay either for two mark or three mark you can expect this question and uh, further you can also expect this diagram that is uh, electrolysis of water okay so this is also this question usually you can expect for two marks they can ask any part to label okay do learn all the parts children so in this video we have understood totally six question children out of six question four are you know based on the theory and two are diagram based so definitely these concept which i discussed in this video are very important in the next video i will come up with the few more important question to watch all the videos every marks which you score in the examination matters a lot so thank you so much for watching this video my dear students so take care i'll be meeting you in the next video very soon